Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'll be testing this HP Compact 6910P. You might think, hey haven't you already made a video like this? And the answer is yes, but not completely. You see, in this video, I'll be testing this laptop for a full week, and instead of focusing on benchmarks, I'll be focusing on the actual usability of this laptop in 2022. Before you start panicking, no worries, I'll keep making the benchmark test videos, but I'm starting this series since, in my opinion, the tiny final opinion at the end of every benchmark video usually doesn't give a really a good view of how usable a laptop still is. So, if you want to see how well this laptop performs in games, check out my other video on this laptop. And without any further ado, let's get right into testing. Alright, first off, I started by setting this laptop up. I installed 4GB of DDR2 RAM in this laptop and together with a 128GB SSD and the Intel Core 2 Duo T8300 in this laptop, Windows 10 is actually really usable on this laptop. So during testing I'm using Windows 10. While setting up the laptop, the fingerprint reader was recognized and I could log in using my fingerprint. Then it was time to install all of the programs and drivers so I can start using this laptop. Installing everything went well since most drivers are made to run on Windows 7, but they run just fine on Windows 10. In terms of programs, there was no program that could not run on this laptop. Even Vegas Pro started which was actually quite surprising. After setting everything up, I could set up my fingerprint using the HP built-in tools. Setting this up went relatively quickly and easy. One thing that still doesn't work even after installing literally all the drivers on HP's site for this laptop is the track point. But oh well, the touchpad works just fine and I don't have a problem with using that instead of the track point. On the touch bar above the keyboard are these buttons. I only know what the Wi-Fi switch does, I don't have a clue what the ones next to it are. And at the right side there are the volume controls. The volume controls are somewhat finicky to use, when I try to press it quickly it usually registers me pressing it for 2 or more seconds. Using the laptop outside also went well. The screen is nice and bright so I was still able to see everything well and since I mainly did a lot of writing in Word while I was outside, I can also give a good review of the keyboard. The keyboard on this laptop is actually quite nice. It's one of the better keyboards I've felt on a laptop. The travel is good too and the switches are satisfying to press. The battery life is also still decent, I get around 1-2 to two hours of using the laptop out of a full battery. The HP battery information tool says that I need to calibrate the battery but since it is a process that can take up to 6 hours, I'm fine with the battery life that I'm getting right now. Well and now we've arrived at the last day of testing already. On the evening on the very last day, this laptop came in pretty handy. My phone died and I did not have a charger with me, so this laptop had to provide me with travel information. And with that, this video comes to an end. Now, is this laptop still usable in 2022? I would say absolutely so. I did not run into any programs that wouldn't run, even stuff like Vegas Pro 15 and Photoshop 2020 both ran. And although it's sometimes a bit slower during tests like loading in big pages in Firefox, it's absolutely not unusable. Watching YouTube on this laptop is actually still a good experience and the speakers sound quite nice as well. I also really like this laptop's form factor. Yes, it's quite a bit thicker than most modern laptops, but the laptop itself is a bit on the small side with a 14.1 inch screen, which makes this laptop pretty easy to carry around. The keyboard is also very good and the laptop feels well built. Overall in 2022 this laptop is definitely still usable and if you can purchase this laptop somewhere for a good price, I would actually recommend it. And with that, this video comes to an end. I know that this video is shorter than usual, but this is the first video in this series, so in the future these videos will get longer or they will stay short, it depends on what you guys want. Leave a comment with what you think would be the best for this new series, keep it short or make it about as long as my usual videos. 
But for now, that was the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!